find something you love doing and you'll never work a day in your life. He emphasizes the pivotal role that the short game has played in his career and recalls how practicing it didn't feel like work, but rather something he thoroughly enjoyed. Welcome, golf enthusiasts. Are you ready to dive deep into the world of one of the most loved professional golfers globally, Shane Lowry? Shane, with his remarkable skills and unique approach, has captured the hearts of nations and continues to inspire golf lovers everywhere. So, tighten up your golf gloves as we explore the techniques, secrets, and experiences of this golf legend right here on Club Golf. If you love golf and are eager to enhance your game, stay tuned and let's swing right in. Shane Lowry burst onto the golfing scene in 2009, mesmerizing the world by becoming the third amateur to snatch a European Tour title at the Irish Open in County Loud. Originally hailing from County Offaly, Ireland, Shane was destined for sporting greatness, being the son of an All-Ireland winning Gaelic football player, Brendan Lowry. Shane's amateur victory wasn't just a win, it was a statement drawing the spotlight onto his unparalleled potential. Lowry's rise didn't stop there. In 2019, he became the second golfer from the Republic of Ireland, after the legendary Padre Harrington, to claim a major championship title. And yes, earlier that same year, he'd already dazzled us by capturing his first Rolex Series title at the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship. It's Shane's relentless spirit and profound love for the game that keep him conquering the greens and our hearts. Shane isn't just about the big swings, He's a maestro when it comes to unraveling the nuances of golf. He emphasizes the importance of a good setup, attributing it to the essence of hitting good shots. A long-standing coaching relationship with Neil Manship has fortified his game, focusing on optimal ball positioning and meticulous shot selections. Shane, like a sage of the winds, teaches us the art of using it to our advantage. Facing a blistery 30 mile per hour headwind, Shane advises altering club choice and ball position and adopting a gentle stroke, turning the wind from foe to friend. He stresses on staying square to the target and maintaining controlled power and strokes to avoid losing trajectory. Diving deeper, Shane spills the beans on his short game secrets. Shane starts off by reflecting on his early years between the ages of 12 and 18, stressing the importance of finding something you love doing. and recalls how practicing it didn't feel like work, but rather something he thoroughly enjoyed. Practicing on diverse surfaces, reading the lie, and adapting to different bounce conditions are crucial in his playbook. He advises keeping the club face open for shots with more green to work with, recalling a particular shot from the 2010 Open Championships at St. Andrews that highlighted the efficacy of this technique. He shares how he approached us short-sighted shots focusing on allowing the ball to naturally go up without overcomplicating it, aiming for mid-height flighted shots with some spin. Shane believes in simplification. He carries only a 50-degree and a 58-degree wedge, focusing on feel over an arsenal of clubs. Whether it's choosing the right spot to land the ball or executing challenging flop shots over bankers, it's about mixing finesse with intelligence. Growing up playing on Ireland's link courses, Shane learned to enjoy the grind and adapt to the relentless conditions. His admiration for Tiger Woods and Padraig Harrington fueled his passion and shaped his journey, inspiring him to mirror their iconic shots and assimilate their winning mentality. Shane articulates the significance of honing the wedge game, focusing on the critical scoring zone of 60 to 110 yards in golf. And what about what's in Shane's bag? He's been relatively consistent with his setup, with a focus on feel and creativity. He's experimented, adjusted, and found the sweet spot with his clubs, 
balancing between long irons and woods to optimize his performance. He expresses his preference for stability, having maintained mostly the same bag configuration over the years, with the exception of the recent addition of a two-iron for its ability to hit low and far, complementing his array of long irons. Whether it's about living in Florida or enjoying controlled cut shots with his wedges, Shane's experiences and adjustments resonate with the essence of the game. He navigates through his preference of carrying three distinct wedges, a 50-degree gap wedge, a 58-degree full-face Cleveland wedge, and a pitching wedge, emphasizing the blend of power and control they provide. Shane is contemplating the incorporation of a sandwich wedge with a loft between 55 and 56 degrees to bridge the existing gap in his wedge set, showcasing his continual pursuit of perfection in his arsenal. Shane reflects on his experimentation with four wedges, but discloses how it somewhat marred his command over the game, reinforcing his choice to stick to three wedges. He breaks down his approach to a standard 60-yard wedge shot, favoring a controlled cut shot setup with a square to slightly left stance to optimize spin and mastery. And that wraps up our journey into the inspiring world of Shane Lowry. This golf maestro's journey and insights are not just thrilling, but they're also a treasure trove of knowledge for anyone looking to elevate their game. So remember, whether it's the wind in your face or a tricky green, channel your inner Lowry and make that shot count. Hey golf aficionados, if you've enjoyed this dive into Shane Lowry's world, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your fellow golf lovers. And of course, if you haven't already, click subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any more golfing gems. We at Club Golf are here to keep your golfing spirits high and your strokes smooth. Thank you so much for joining us today, and until next time, keep swinging and keep loving the game. This is Club Golf signing off.